Uh, welcome back, everybody. This is the final 15 minutes of the show, and we are here with uh, public administrator candidate, Mr. Butch Doe, who seems to be picking up a lot of support throughout the county. I mean, you do have Ray the Flagman, and everybody knows him. And uh, anyway, it was mentioned about a cell phone, and I understand everybody don't have their cell phone all the time with them, and everybody don't even know how to use it like me. <laughs> but there would be numbers of probably close relatives or close friends. I would think so. There might be people on there they don't want you to know about, but I mean, if they've passed away, they're not really going to care anyway at that time. And Sue called that in. I'd like to redress that a little bit. Um, it would be great if the cell phone was in the house uh, because then you could actually, although I said before that I don't really want to go through somebody's cell phone, you could do that, but uh, you never know if the person is going to be around here when you know when that finally happens. They may be off someplace, and the cell phone's not there. Mm -hmm. So I, I still think the redundancy is is going to be good for having the uh, a piece of paper on your refrigerator or inside a cupboard door or something like that. That gives you contacts. Well, I think you know it's not that difficult for people to leave uh, a way for a public administrator or the coroner or the sheriff to contact somebody. Right. I mean, all you gotta do is have it out in the open. I mean, even a phone book well, I've, or... I've got mine inside a cupboard door, so when you open the door, the, the paper's right there with all the contacts. Mm -hmm. in. Okay, well, we do have a caller again. Uh, caller, this is Gene. Go ahead uh, with your question. Yes, how are you doing? Good, um, good. Yourself? Well, a few years back, uh, my mother called me up and my brother was passed away on the floor. The uh, owner guy came by, and there was an officer here and everything, and it went very smooth. I mean, as far as what they did, the police officer was very nice. Kept my mom away from that. It's hard to explain. What happened with you? He had an aneurysm in it. Uh, blew up in his brain, and then I guess he was dead before he hit the floor. And anyways, uh... It was dead for probably 12 hours. My mother didn't realize it because she thought he was passed out, but he wasn't. Anyways, um, the question is that I don't know what a public minister, as is the corner guy that came in, did a very, very good job, um, helped with keeping my mother away, you know, made the most people want to pick them up and stuff, and it was a mess, and, um, it's a, it was a weird situation because he was alive one day, and I said, you know, and it was put together with an aneurysm, and it just, uh, it was kind of, at first it wasn't traumatizing because you think, oh, no, and then when I came over here, I seen him on the floor, and I kicked him a little bit. Yeah, you know, he, he looked like he was sleeping, but when they picked him up, that was a mess. Mm -hmm. And it just, uh, they, the whole thing, uh, the corner guys and the officer, everything did a great job with everything. I mean, there was no, they helped and did a lot of good support. So we do have good support when some tragic thing like that happens. We have good people, all the officers, the corners, and the mortuary, and everything. So they all work together, and um, we're very fortunate for a small town to have uh, people that work together like that. Yes, we are. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm, I'm glad that you had a good experience with that that uh, the people who came there and showed up were, were good about it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound like you would have actually needed a public administrator there. The only thing I could have done was console you if, uh, if I had been there. But it sounds like everything was, was taken care of and you had the heirs there, so you really didn't need a public administrator. Well, normally, isn't it, public administrator, you come into action when there's a possibility that you can't find. Right. Uh, living relatives, or there's no will, or something like that. You right. come in, you know, and you, uh, the public administrator shouldn't be there at all if there's relatives already there. There's, right. there's no need for them. Yeah, if you got, you know, brothers or somebody in a will, or a wife or a daughter or something like that. Right. 
yeah, there's no reason for the public. And I think that's where, in certain occasions here in Nye County, it's been where people have been misled about this. That, you know, if uh, my daughter comes in, let her take over. Yeah. Don't, you right. know, don't tell her to get out and I'm changing right. the locks and put the tape oh. up around the house. Exactly. You Same know, thing with me. Um, my, I have a son and uh, that's on the contact list. So uh, he gets contacted, he comes out, he's going to, you know, he's going to take care of. I've always talked to him basically about uh, several things that I have that he's going to have and, uh, you know, that. Uh, he's going to get them when when that happens, and I, I of course I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Oh well, I I don't know. I might not make it out the door tonight. So <laughs> I, I plan for everything, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been on this show some years ago quite often, and that and people have swore to me that I wouldn't make it out the front door. <laughs> so anyway, they weren't uh, waiting for you outside, were they? Oh, that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we do have another car. And his name is Dave. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I'm wondering, uh, I don't have any relatives down here, and I'm wondering if I make a CD and put a note on the refrigerator, is that legal? would that be legal? I have somebody, a friend of mine here, but uh, I don't want nobody coming in fumbling through my stuff. Well, Dave, yeah, you, can, you can do whatever you want with your stuff, and, and one of the things that is recommended is on the stuff that you really want, you know, like, we don't want it being stolen before, you know, even before we die. We don't want it being stolen after we die. So put a number on it and, and include that on your CD that says, okay, my flat panel TV has got this number and uh, uh, my refrigerator has this number and my boots have these numbers. And uh, yes, it's, it, I don't, there's nothing wrong with you making a CD and, and uh, having the information on it to uh, let somebody know who you want to see it. Well, I think that's what the fear is of a lot of people. Like I said, uh, Knight County is a majority of seniors. And a lot of them have not prepared anything for it. Or a lot of them say, well, I can't stand them anyway. You know? yes. yeah. But uh, the thing is, is, that's why you get called into action. Because the coroner, uh, what I understand in Knight County, is the sheriff. But I may be wrong on that, but it used to be. And so everybody, uh, a sheriff deputy, he doesn't really want to hang out there and go through all this. So it all gets passed down to the public administrator and I don't enter uh, storage facilities. You get all this stuff, where do you put it? Yeah, exactly. We uh, don't even have basements out here for you to put I've, it in. I mean, I've been asking that question and I haven't gotten any answers yet. Yeah, I so. mean, you come into my house, you might look at it and say, well, this is a bunch of junk, but it might mean something to somebody in my family. I have a two-car garage know? full of junk. Well, yeah, so do I. <laughs> yeah, but it's still got to be going through. Yeah. You know, and, you know, and if, if I had left nobody, they'd, somebody would have to go through that. But if, if I do become public administrator, I, I do want to bring trust and uh, discretion into right. this because, like I said earlier, People have worked their whole lives for what they've got, and, and they don't need anybody else knowing about it. Well, that's like, uh, I got a lot of relatives back in Iowa. I got a lot out here, too, but, you know, something happened to me, and you contacted one of them, and they hopped in a plane, and a day and a half, two days later, they're out here, and they walk in the house, and the house is empty, and they'll say, well, you know, Bill used to watch TV, so, mm -hmm. you know, he, he slept on a bed normally, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so anyway, uh, what do you, where do you put this stuff for them? I mean, are you going to say, well, okay, yeah, here's an old bed he had, and here's an old TV he yeah, had. That's, that's but, one of the things uh, that I have to figure out along with trying to figure out if it should be a salaried position. And, you know, there's, there's, there are a lot of questions that I still have that haven't been answered by any NRSs or anybody else I've asked. Well, you know, I can't believe the county out of all those, uh, all these trailers they lease and rent and everything and all these facilities they got that some can't be left to the public administrator to uh, store, like, you know, this is case number 159 that belongs to the Jones. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll find a relative. We won't have to do that. Yeah. And, uh, but if we, if we actually do, then we should have some place that we can secure it. Same with uh, vehicles that are paid for. All my vehicles are paid for. If you're going to impound them, why can't you use the same facilities as the sheriff's use? Yeah. I'm sure the facilities aren't full of cars, but uh, so, I would... Anyway, I'd, 
I, I know that we don't have too much time left now. And I'd like to thank all the callers that called in and uh, hope I answered their questions. Well, you know, the thing is, is I think the most important thing is a person that's honest, a person that's got a little integrity. I've been through a few and I've talked to some people and that, and it seems like that's what we've been lacking the most for many a years in the public administrator's office here in uh, Nye County. Some others may say I'm wrong, but just from what I hear, uh, things are going on that shouldn't be going on. Yeah, well, so, and I, and hopefully I, I can change that. I don't yeah. have to follow suit. And I hope, uh, I wish you well uh, running, and uh, I know there's three of you running for the office. I expect you to be back on our show during for the general election. So anyway, we are getting close to time to where we're closing this up, and it is time to close up. Thank you very much, and good luck. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Thank we'll you be back next Thursday night on Political Hot Seat. Thank you very much. <laughs>